Hi, it's great to have you with us. We are so glad that you found this video. I'm Tony Fink, the pastor appointed to serve the Pine Island, Minnesota area for the United Methodist Church. For all of God's children means that children's sermons are not just for the young. They are for the young at heart and for all of God's children. Keep watching this video to the end. There'll be some conversation starters for parents and children. But now, let's take a look at this week's time with all of God's children. Let's invite our children forward now because this is for all of God's children and this is where children belong. Good morning. Boy, when there's not a lot of kids up here and you're missing your friends, it's kind of hard to come up, isn't it? You know, sometimes when we know what's right to do, is it good that we do the right thing? Yeah, yeah. And sometimes, let's ask these people, sometimes is it lonely to do the right thing? Yeah, sometimes it is. So, but I'm glad that you're here. Are you glad that you're here? Well, good. Well, there's a lot of new stuff this Sunday. Um, did you see that great big green thing over there? What's that on the other side of you? A Christmas tree. Oh, you don't even need to turn around because you looked at it. You know, when I first walked in and saw it, you know what that Christmas tree reminded me of? Santa Claus. Doesn't that kind of tree look like Santa Claus? And then Naomi said we should get a belt to buckle and put it along the front. So we'll, we'll see if that happens. So what? Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, you didn't hear this, but, but Adia said her dad thinks Santa Claus is real. Actually, I have a sermon that proves it, okay? But that's not going to be this week or this year, okay? That's going to come another time. But you asked me sometime when I got more time, because it's really true. Oh, and we got, what, these are poinsettias. These are like Christmas flowers. So are we getting ready for Christmas here at church? Yeah. Are you getting ready for Christmas at home? Do you have your tree up? Not yet? Okay, only, only two trees. There, sounds like there's more coming, huh? So, well, you know what? Oh, the candy flowers. Oh, those aren't candy flowers, trust me. Maybe at home they are. But if you got a tree up, here we go, you get a candy cane. Pretty good. Not yet. Okay. You're never going to eat a candy cane? Oh, they're spicy. You know what? There's a reason they're spicy. And I think, um, are you going to tell the kids someday what that is, Vicki? That, that legend of the candy cane? It's, it's actually a, a, um, a flavor called peppermint, okay? That makes sense why it's, it's a little bit spicy. But you know what? That's like one of the gifts that the wise men brought. So that's why it's peppermint and not butterscotch. Well, are there other butterscotch candy canes? Say yes. Yeah. Does the pastor get disappointed because there's buddy scotch, butterscotch candy canes? Yeah, he does. Okay, but, so a candy cane because you got a Christmas tree up. You got any Christmas lights around your house? Only inside. Only inside. Okay, on the Christmas, but that counts, right? And being that you don't like candy canes, mom gets one. Oh yeah, candy cane, okay. So you get prizes for like getting ready for Christmas, isn't that cool? Now, here's the other question. Do you know who's coming on Christmas? Not just Santa, but whom? Jesus. So are you getting ready for Jesus? Yeah. How do we get ready for Jesus? Well, do we get ready for Jesus by being nice to people? Yeah, we know that. And do you get ready for Jesus by uh, loving God and talking to God? Yeah. So that's how we get ready for Jesus, is we love God and we're nice to people. We do all the things that Jesus wants us to do. Okay, does that sound pretty, pretty good? Yeah, oh, well, if you're getting ready for Jesus too, mom gets, actually dad gets a candy cane when you bring it home, okay? Yeah, he's still, I think, milking or something, so, yeah. So let's have a prayer, okay? 
Dear God, we thank you for Jesus and how he loves us. Help us get ready for Christmas and help us get ready for Jesus. Amen. Oh, speaking of Jesus and how he loves us, what else do I have? Tootsie Rolls. Okay, so we, we have some new people in church. So here's the, here's the quiz for you. When I hand out Tootsie Rolls, do I hand out just one? No, I hand out like more than you can handle, right? Why do I do that? You can't remember. Help from the audience. Why do we do that? Help from the audience. Why do we do that? Because God's love just overflows, right? More than we can handle. Okay, you ready? Let's stand up here. Okay. <laughs> yep, ready? There's another candy cane for you because I know where those are going. And ready? Here are your Tootsie Rolls overflowing. Okay? Thanks for staying with us to this video up to this point. Here are some things that you can talk about with your children this week. How are you getting ready for Christmas? Um, are there stories that go with the ornaments and decorations around your house? What are some traditions that you do every year? And then, how are you getting ready for Jesus? Um, what are specific things that you and your children can do to, to love God and to serve God and to love and serve others? Thanks again for viewing and discussing this video. Um, if this video has been helpful for you, you can even share it with a friend or two. And if you don't want to miss these children's messages when they come out and when they're posted online, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great week.